First friends, I will take a look at the model number, Android version and security of the device for you. To start here, you will see about phone and here is the model number Weibo T3 Pro 5G. The device's security features are visible as well friends. The device is up to date with our latest Android 14. Here you will see the software information in the latest. You will see it, click on it and now pay attention friends. See here the security of the device is up to date with the latest from 1st October 2024. Okay. Now friends, let's discuss about the problem that is being faced in bypassing FRP of any mobile of Weibo in the latest security. Here friends, you can see I am on the website of VN Roam. Open settings option appears. What happened before? Click open settings to open the device settings. But now the settings of the device are not being opened in the latest security. See here the option of open setting. I click on it and see it is not working. You can see it here. It is baked as soon as you click on open setting. Friends, the settings of the device were opened here. But in the latest security friends, now the settings of the device are not being opened here. You saw it, right? What is the solution to this problem? I will explain it in detail in this video. So make sure to watch the whole video without skipping. Currently, this device I'm holding is a Weibo Brandy with branding visible on the back. The model number is Weibo T3 Pro 5G. The problem in the device is friends that the device is our FRP lock. Gmail ID is locked. Google account is locked. Pay attention friends when your device will be FRP locked, then you pay attention to the upper corner. A small locker in my device is showing. So if this type of locker shows in your device, it's mine's device is your FRP lock. Gmail ID is locked. Google account is locked. In this video, I will tell you the latest way to bypass the FRP of all Weibo mobiles. First of all, I confirm to you that the device I have, Weibo T3 Pro 5G, is completely FRP locked. Pay attention to it here. Connect to Wi-Fi options have come and see here. There is no next option. So what should you do first? This device must be connected to a Wi-Fi network because the device needs to be connected to the internet. So here I connected the device to Wi-Fi. The device is connected. Wait a few seconds and you will be confirmed that the device I have, Weibo T3 Pro 5G, is completely FRP locked. From here, simply click on Don't Copy. And see this friends, the option of Verify PIN has arrived. That is, the device was our PIN lock earlier and it is saying Verify the PIN. This PIN you should know, PIN we don't know. There can also be a pattern or password in place of the PIN. The second option is on the top side. I use Google account instead. I click on it and now you will see it will be written here. You can see the verify your account option has come. That is now to bypass the FRP of this device. You have to verify the email ID of this device, i.e. Gmail ID here, which we do not know. Okay. So now see how this device works. It has to bypass FRP. Note that if the device is seating is not open in the latest security, then I will tell you this trick. By following this trick, you will be able to bypass the FRP of Weibo's XYZ, all mobiles very easily. What do you have to do for this? First of all, friends, you have to take a SIM card. Okay. And in this SIM card, you have to activate the SIM pin. If you don't know how to activate the SIM pin in any SIM card, then click on the I button given above. Watch this video. After watching this video, you will know how to activate the SIM pin in any SIM card. This is where I inserted this SIM. As soon as I insert it, you can see that the message of enter pin has arrived. Okay. Now, what do you have to do to take out the SIM card directly? So from here, I took out the SIM card. See this. Okay. Now, as soon as you take out the SIM card, friends, if you pay attention, then a notification will show on the display. Not signed in. Okay. What do you do? In the upper corner, the book is created. You can simply click on this book. Click on the three dots. Here you will see the option of share. Click on the share. After clicking on the share, you will see all these options of share. Here you will see easy share. If you click on simple easy share, then easy share will open in your device. All you have to do is check it and proceed from here. Okay. From here, simply click on get it. Whatever permissions come, you have to remove all the permissions step by step. Okay. And see here, this QR code has come. Okay. So now you keep this device a little bit on the side. Okay. And now, you have to take another device. If you take a second device of any brandy, then here, friends, I have taken a second device. Okay. You have to take a second device of any brandy. Okay. Now look carefully what to do in this device. You need to install two apps on this device. Well, the first application is activity launcher. So you click on search here and the first application you have to install here is activity launcher. 
Okay, then you will search by typing activity launcher here. So see this application, this application okay. has to be installed in this device. Okay. The second application is EG share. So here I will type simple. If you search by typing EG share, then see the second application, you have to update or install it by clicking on this application. All right, I'll update it from here. You have to take another device in which you have to install EG share and activity launcher. Okay, now friends, if EG share is open, what will we do? If you open E, then I open it from here. After opening, they will check the box and make agree from here. EG share will open on your device. Now pay attention, look up, the scanner sees you, you click on simple scanner and get it from here. And whatever permission comes, you have to get all the permissions step by step from here. If you do so, there will be a scanner here. Now scan this key code. As soon as you scan, you will see. Both devices will be connected. I scanned it and will see. Both devices will be connected, connected. Here you can see the option of, okay, don't you click on simple, okay. Okay, now see, send file here too, send file here too, but this device is locked. Okay, what should you do to send it to it? To do this, click on simple send file. Activity launcher, check it out and send it here. See, the activity launcher has been sent here and the option to install on it has come here. Now click on simple install. Once the activity launcher is installed, you have to open it. Open it from here and OK from here. OK, the activity launcher is opening. OK, so now friends, we wait till it is opened. See the activity line, sir. It has been opened. Now friends, from here, you will see an option here for Android setup. Click on it. After that, a little. Let's go down here. Pay attention. You are seeing the setting in front of everyone, but this option is not in front of it. If you click on it, Android setup will open on this device. Now we have to set it up. Click on start for this. Skip from here. If the device is connected to Wi-Fi, click on CL Wi-Fi network. The Wi-Fi of the device has been disconnected. See, it has been connected. Okay, here I click. Okay, don't copy next option has come. From here, we will do next. We will click on no cable. We will click on copy without cable. We will next from here. See this, use I Google account, click on it. From here, you have to next the symbol and just stop now. Now the work of this device starts. So what to do in it? Now friends, in this device, you have to open the main settings of the device. From here, I open the device settings. After opening, come to the very last, you will see Google. Click on Google and you will see all services. You click on all services and then come down from here. You will see setup nearby device. If you look carefully here, then you will see setup nearby device. Here you are, click on it. Now see the setup has opened in both the devices. You have to do both. Next from here, next from here, see this search for device. Now see both the devices are connected to each other. You can see both the color codes and numbers. It's exactly the same. You have to do simple next here, then copy and see if this will copy your account. This device will copy whatever Gmail ID you have put in this device. See this. Copied and set to enter its password. Then we have to enter its password. Okay, I have entered the password. Now I will next simple from below here. Okay, and see this. Copy your account. Okay, here the account copy processor is happening. Wait a little. Here you can see the processor is happening. Do you have to wait? Pay attention whether you have any Weibo mobile, whether Weibo is 40, 40 Pro, 40E, 25 for 25 Pro, or 30 or 30 Pro will bypass the FRP of all devices in this way. Now, friends, you will get to see these options. Okay, so do you have to delete all these checks? Okay, remove all the checks from here. You just have to leave the device settings. Then copy it from here. Now you will see friends, Gmail account has been copied here. See, this is the option of Google services and see this Gmail account is showing here. Okay, so now you have to complete setup, accept it and proceed from here. Click on the search engine Google, then proceed. Skip this option from here. Skip once again, click on Peacock, click on skip from here, click skip from here again, you click skip. No thanks. Click on this and see here, copy done, 
From here, you click on done. Okay, now this will automatically bake. Do a little wait on the home screen. See this, friends? It has completely baked on the home screen. So now you have to set up again. Simple from here, you click on start, click on next. On next, now you will see the account edit message will come. Okay, see the account edit message has come. That is, the account has been successfully added to this device. Click next. Now you have to complete the setup. The FRP of your device has been completely bypassed. Okay, but pay attention. Watch the video in full. Friends, there is some other processor in the last which I will share with you. Simple from here, you click on continue, click on Peacock, you skip this from here. Once again, you have to skip. No thanks. Click on this, click on Agri from here. Do next, do next. In the last, you will get, get started. Click on this and just go now. And your device, Bebo T3 Pro 5G has its SRP lock, i.e. Google account lock completely bypassed and the device is your compliant. So it was unlocked. But friends, we have a problem here. When your device is FRP bypassed, now you will see friends, see this notification panel does not work here. As you can see, the notification panel is not working. Look carefully at what to do for this. You have to come in the settings of the device. After coming in the OK settings, you will see the last one. Click on account, this Gmail account he copied. Click on it and first of all, simply remove this Gmail account from here. Okay, after removing, you will come back. System will appear in the device settings. Click on it. Here you will see the reset option. Click on it. Erase all data factory reset. Click on it. And from here, erase all data, erase all data, i.e. do a manual reset of the device once in the last. This processor is expected to bypass the SRP of Vivo T3 Pro 5G. You will like the video. If the video is helpful to you, please clear the video. Like and support the channel to get continuous notifications of such great interesting videos. Subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.